Thanks for joining us here on Indivisible. I'm your host, John Stubbins. We are thrilled to have you with us tonight, America. Got a fantastic show for you tonight. Before we get started, I want to just give you a shout to our website, kind of direct you there. Go to johnstubbins.com where you can purchase our brand new coffee line. It is amazing. I am a coffee snob and I can tell you our coffee is fantastic. It is top shelf. Uh, we have General Flynn as our licensing agreement guy. There he is with John Ferguson, who the roast and blends bags and ships our coffee right to your door. Also, I want to give a shout out to Hunter Nation and Hunt the Vote. We are uh, actively working now with our new partners at the NRA to get the job done in these battleground states and get hunters out to vote, which we did in Louisiana to swing that governor's race. It's a big deal, folks. We need our hunters voting in this election. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Great show tonight, folks. Uh, I want to bring on my next guest here. His goal is to expose, and I mean expose, idiocracy. Uh, he's a small-time uh, capitalist, a big-time defender of freedom. I want to bring on to the show my friend Grant Stinchfield. How you doing, brother? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. We're thrilled to have you on uh, first time, and we're going to be scrolling your information at the bottom of the screen for everybody. Uh, if you don't know Grant, he is on Real America's Voice. He's a big host over there and also host of his own podcast labeled Stenchville. That's right. So we're thrilled to have you on, man. Look, I didn't know that you were a graduate of Denison University. I sure am. The Big Red. Yeah. Right here in Ohio. That's where I'm at. Oh, uh, no kidding. Yeah, no, I'm in Columbus, Ohio. So, all right, so Granville, just uh, what is it? Just, just east of Columbus. Hey, Tar Heel Synthetics. We are at the Amsoil Convention in Superior, Wisconsin, and we are here with Steve Schuring. And hey, Steve, how's convention going for you? Well, it's going fantastic. A huge amount of dealers here. Great turnout. I own the Amsoil sponsored Snowcross race team and the Amsoil sponsored Off Road Pro Truck and Side by Side race teams. So this is one of our snowmobiles that we raced last year. This is one of the side-by-side -side cars that we race in. So now we have a Pro 4 truck. And then this is just kind of a fun little toy that I put together. It's a 1950 Dodge Power Wagon that runs Z-Rod oil in it. What's your favorite product from Amsoil? My favorite product? Oil. I mean, we <laughs> run the Dominator in our race snowmobiles and we've been in situations where our, we've got landed on and broke our heat exchangers and be able to finish the race without ruining the motor. So that's really been a savior for us in times when we've been involved with content. Why Amsoil? Why, why no other product? 100% the best. You know, since I've been here since day one when it was a small company. I see the effort of quality they put in. Nobody matches that. It's a product that you don't have to push to sell. It sells itself and it provides the results we're looking for. It takes a, a variable out of our racing. It's like we don't have to worry about this being a failure. You know, we can focus more time on how are we tuning our suspension. We don't have to worry about, you know, the robustness of other stuff. So follow us on Facebook, SharingSpeedSports.com, on Instagram, SharingSpeedSports, and also follow Roger at TarHillSynthetics.com. Hunter Nation is the ultimate we the people in the conservation community, holding our elected employees accountable to the hunting, fishing, trapping, freedom lifestyle that has brought wildlife back to the healthiest and most thriving condition in our lifetime. HunterNation.org is the epicenter for freedom and wildlife conservation in America. I am Hunter Nation. Let's get to it. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, obviously, with what happened with President Trump, we had the RNC. It went very well. I don't think the Democrats are going to be able to top that, number one. Number two, though, do you have any thoughts just on the investigation that is just, to me, it's, it, it's ludicrous, really, but the investigation into the Trump shooting, do you think it's a conspiracy? Who do you think is involved? My gut feeling tells me this guy was operating on his own. He looks like a lunatic. You know, everybody's worried about the possibility that he may have been connected to Iran. They've got this encrypted emails. I, I think most conservatives probably have encrypted email accounts because we don't want people looking at our communications. Um, not that he was a conservative, but just to let everybody understand, it's not out of the realm to have encrypted email accounts. Uh, have you looked at this guy? 
Yeah. This is not an Iranian terrorist. Okay? Yeah, he doesn't this, look like it. He doesn't look no, like it. No, 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 no. I, I, think my, I think my concern, Grant, is more related to the Secret Service and law enforcement, that part of it, because it just, it's unexplainable how they don't see this guy. Yeah, it, it's it's complete and utter incompetence. And, and normally I never fall onto incompetence. I don't really believe it at this level. The Secret Service should be better than that. So then I, I've used the phrase, was it purposeful incompetence? Meaning, did, did they want it, it, President Trump to be vulnerable? I, I don't know. I, I mean, my gut feeling again on this tells me no. My gut feeling tells me they just screwed this thing up in a massive fashion. Everyone is now trying to cover their ass. Uh, when you have the Secret Service not showing up for a 9 a.m. meeting with law enforcement, when you have a command center where apparently the Secret Service doesn't have people there to be able to communicate on the different radio channels, I get that Butler County SWAT team is not going to be on the same radio channel as the Secret Service. Right. But you have a liaison there next to them, so if something happens or comes up, they can relay it back and forth. This is, And I'm not a law enforcement guy, but I'll tell you my background real quick. I've trained with law enforcement on numerous occasions. I'm certified at Advanced Patrol Tactics. I'm certified in basic SWAT, and I used to work for the NRA, and so I've been in and around guns for a long time, specifically personal personal protection. So you don't have to be a law enforcement officer to figure out all this stuff that that roof should have been covered. Everybody's talked about this. That's right. So what happened here? You had bureaucracy at its worst on display yesterday during the Senate hearing. The acting director of the Secret Service who, by the way, was the director of operations. He was the guy underneath Cheadle, who who then stepped down. Operations. He's the one that was overseeing all of this. How was he in charge now? They needed to call for his resignation. He needed to be stepped down. And now, now he's acting director. And he talked about, we want to get to the process. We want to get to this. Josh Hawley was trying to drill down who was responsible to check that bill. And he wouldn't give individuals names, and he's doing it completely background, backwards. This is the problem with big government and bureaucracy. Yeah. They think about the process instead of drilling down from the bottom and then expanding out. They want to start from the top and then drill down. Not how it works. That's right. That's right. And as a, as a United States military veteran myself and understanding weapons and how they work and understanding, and by the way, we just uh, partnered with the NRA, the new leadership of the NRA. Um, I was up in Wisconsin last week and, you know, we had a huge, huge uh, VIP event. I don't know if you can see us. I got Ted, Ted Nugent and me and Don Jr. I'm sitting behind Ted, Keith Mark, uh, founder of HunterNation.org, HunterNation.org. Uh, and we just partnered with them uh, and their new leadership to get out the vote. We flipped the vote in Louisiana's governor's race. Now we're up in Wisconsin, but we got 62,000 brand new votes from hunters yeah. in our database that did not vote in the last two cycles. Yeah, it's a big problem. Vote. Yeah, yeah it's, a big... It's, it's specifically hunters. Personal protection people in the, in the gun world uh, are typically great patriots. They vote. They take their responsibility very seriously. This hunter world is fragmented. Um, and, and, you know, and you'd go to the, the shotgun world and pheasant hunting in the Northeast, half of those people are liberals and, uh, and, and, and they're not engaged. You got a bunch of wealthy people up there. They're not engaged. You go out West. I, I just don't understand how, how people in the hunting world are not engaged in voting for who's going to be, uh, you know, the next president or even all the way down to the local level for that matter. But it's a great. It's a great program you guys are running because that's an untapped resource of votes for us. Well, it's a big deal. And like I said, we've proven the science. We've got the data. We're not even, look, 44% of the people in our database are Democrats, but we're not even approaching them. We're not wasting our time. We're going after the 56% of conservatives in our database that we know we can get out and get yeah. a percentage of them to vote. And we proved it in Louisiana. We, yeah. we did it this summer. We flipped the governor's race. Now we're in Wisconsin. From Wisconsin, it'll be on to Michigan, then Pennsylvania and Georgia and so on. Battleground states. Yeah. So it's a big deal. And I, you know, I, I just had Keith on, uh, had him on the show. And, and Ted is a big proponent. Don Jr. joined our board of director two months ago. So we're on the way. 
to making a big difference. And look, 60,000 votes can flip Wisconsin, can yeah. flip Pennsylvania, can flip Michigan. It's a big deal. Yeah, sure is. So, look, uh, you know, I wanted to ask you real quick. Um, and speaking of that, Northeast, before I take a quick commercial break, I never will understand Boston. You know, you know, you, you, the, the, the city where the where the tea party takes place, and the, and these a lot of these Irish families that have come over, hardworking families from yesteryear, and they vote Democrat. Yeah, over and over and over again, and I will never understand it. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It it, it uh, I, I think it has a lot to do with family tradition. I think it has to do with unions. Unions own those cities up in the, up in the Northeast. They've typically been Democrat. President Trump is is changing that. And I think if you go into some of these cities, especially with the Irish Catholics, they're starting to wake up. You you know, I mean, how, how do you get Patriots fans that are that are literally voting Democrat? It doesn't make any sense. If you ever talk to these these guys that I'm talking about, that it doesn't make any sense. They're voting Democrat, no. and I think they're kind of waking up to the fact that they've made a mistake for a long time. Amen. Amen to that. Folks, try our new coffee blend. We just uh, uh, signed a licensing agreement uh, with General Flynn, and we are thrilled to bring you these three blends. We're going to be adding a fourth uh, with our partnership with Hunter Nation, and we're thrilled to do that. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with Grant Stinchfield. Here's to the overlooked, the overworked, the underappreciated. Here's to the fighters to preserve our freedom, our liberty, our rights, our faith. Here's to the workers, the farmers, the first responders, and those who serve so bravely in our military. Here's to Americans who proudly hold tight to our values. God, privacy, freedom of speech, life and liberty. Here's to the patriots who love this country and everything it stands for, who should never be canceled for believing in America and the blessings of liberty. Finally, there's a bank for you, Old Glory Bank named after the flag that represents the fabric of this great country and the people of Old Glory Nation, the engine of America. Now you have a bank that values your values. Now you have a bank that stands with you, no matter where you stand. Old Glory Bank. We stand with you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Indivisible with John Stubbins is proud to support my friends Jim and Angela Holland and Set Apart Farms. Faith led and family driven, we're doing things a better way for veterans and their families. For all the ways to get involved, go to setapartfarms.org. And we're back, folks. Uh, look, uh, Grant, there's, uh, there, there's so much to talk about here. I want to get your opinion on something. Uh, Chris Bish, who is a congressional candidate in Sacramento, California, she just won. She won her primary. She's got a real good chance to win this election up there. Her and I have been doing an investigation for the last two years on Adam Schiff, and <clears throat> we've got him on five counts of mortgage fraud. Nowhere for this guy to run. We got the last piece of evidence about two weeks ago from Los Angeles County. This guy is done. He is toast. Uh, we, we got this thing, this investigation flagged by the House Ethics Committee and Legal Oversight. We've been working with Peter Schweitzer's research team to get this in front of these people. It has been a battle, tooth and nail, but I cannot wait to testify against this guy. He's you, caused us some, enough trouble, hasn't he? Do you want the good news or the bad news? Give me the bad news first. All right. The, 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 the bad news is your investigation is going to go nowhere. The House Ethics Commission is basically a toothless body. They protect each other in there, Republicans and Democrats. This is the quintessential uniparty. Nothing's going to happen there. In California, you know no federal or uh, agency is going to investigate Adam Schiff. 
He will be the next senator from California. I just saw the latest polling. I do radio in Los Angeles, so I'm, I'm very familiar with Adam Schiff. In fact, his district is where our radio station is. I live in Dallas, but do, do morning drive in, in L.A., uh, is in Glendale there. That's where he supposedly lives, but he doesn't live there. He, no, he doesn't. He, he lives in D.C. He doesn't live there. He, we've and, we've and got him on five right. felony counts of mortgage fraud. All right, good. So, so I'm going to tell you again, good luck with that. Um, these politicians in California operate with impunity. Uh, and, and the reason they operate with impunity is because of a dopey electorate. He right now is leading in the polls 65 to 35% against a horrible candidate, by the way. The Steve Garvey is not even campaigning. He will not come on our radio show. He will not talk to us. He's not no a real either. conservative. He's literally relying on his name that, by the way, as it has been. He, Steve Garvey was great when I was a kid. I'm 55 yeah, years old. Exactly. Nobody remembers this guy. So he's winning 65 to 35%. I applaud you for taking this fight. I will report on this on the radio program. I'll try to spread this everywhere we can in California. But my bad news to you is it's going to fall flat on its face. Well, I tell you what, let's go. I, I at least want to be able to say I laid everything on the field. Yes. And I gave it everything I had. Don't hesitate to bring me and Chris on your show. Yes, that'd be great. We'll do it too, for sure. Uh, and, and, and look, you know, uh, uh, from that to this election, you know, here we are. Uh, you know, we're getting ready to head into August, September, October, you know, to see swing months uh, when the election is going to be won or lost. And here comes the race card, just like clockwork, right? <laughs> it, it never fails. I always tell people, you know, you know, back in the old days, you know, when I was a kid, you know, it was fun as a kid to put a, a message in a bottle and let it put it in the water. I tell people I could put a message in a bottle today. And you could uncover it 50, 75, 100 years from now. And the message would say this. Every election, the Democrats play the race card. Yeah, It never fails. It doesn't matter who the candidate is. No, it, it sure doesn't. And the reason they play the race card is because they have nothing else. They have no policies to run on. You know, this new talking point that Republicans are weird, that J.D. Vance is weird. Trump's weird. <laughs> you and I are weird. You know what's weird to me? It's weird to me that you'd want to abort a baby at nine months. California, yeah. maybe even out of the womb. It's weird to me that you wouldn't want to ask for ID before someone votes. It, it's weird to me that you don't prosecute criminals. It's weird to me that you want to leave a border wide open and have MS-13 gang members, this new trend de agua gang members coming into this country. It's weird to me that you're okay with the flood of fentanyl coming I into this country. It's weird to me that you're not unleashing energy resources, forcing inflation through the roof, costing your entire electorate more money than they've ever had to pay at the grocery store in, in recent American times than they do now. All of that's weird to me. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you, but they call us weird. That, that just doesn't make any sense. They, they have a lot of nerve, right? It's like, I tell you what kills me, you know, 80, 90 years, and I, and I, I this drives me nuts. Somehow, and I don't know how they did it back then because I wasn't alive, but somehow they claimed the narrative that we were the bad guys, right? When you look at the history, they were the party of the KKK. They were the party of Jim Crow. They were the party that gave zero, zero votes for civil rights legislation. And yet somehow we have been the bad guys for 80, 90 years. I mean, right. it's like, it drives me nuts. I wish one president would go to the podium and say, guess what, folks? I'm holding a national uh, conference. We're going to set the record straight tonight because we can never heal until we get this scab removed so that we can move on as a country and deal with it. Yeah. Deal with it and give the truth and let the Democrats answer the black community as to why they did this. Well, uh, I think you see the black community coming around now they uh, are. more than ever before. And I, I think there's really great signs there of that moving in, in the right direction. But don't forget the mainstream media is part of this cabal and they are able to spread these lies at a moment's notice. Just look at Kamala Harris in, in just what, two weeks? They've turned her from a bumbling ding-dong <laughs> into their next savior. I mean, they now have her looking presidential. They have her in front of a teleprompter only. She can read a teleprompter. Joe Biden can't. She can read a teleprompter. She can't do interviews. So it's been now, I think, 10, 11 days since she's done her last sit-down interview. She's not going to do any more because she comes across very bad. This is the media protecting her. 
The media's changed the narrative. She was no longer the border czar now, apparently. Right. Even though I have the media calling her the border czar, but she's no longer the border czar. Of course not. And people will believe all of this stuff. So um, their ability to change messaging, to, to enact messaging, to engage in messaging uh, is far better than our ability to do it because they control the media. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And, you know, it, it, when we talk about the border czar thing, I, look, I, I work with very closely with Tom Holman, Border 911, Jason Jones, Victor Avila, these guys. And, you know, we know what's going on at that border. We know what's going on at that border since Trump left office. It's no, it's no surprise. It's no secret. And, you know, we, we're shooting a child trafficking documentary right now because it, it's close to my heart and, and I, I want to help save our kids. But I got to tell you, look, that border is beyond a sieve. I mean, we, it is so far out of control. I was in a conversation last night where we were talking about uh, Dr. Peter Pry, by the way, God rest his soul. He was probably the foremost expert on this. And I talked to Dr. Pry many times about this, whether it's an EMP device, whether it's our water supply or electrical grids, this, that, and the other thing. The bottom line is you set off an EMP device in some of these cities, within 60 days, 90% of your population, they're gone. Yeah. It, they're gone because everything runs on electric, even your water. Your, your grocery stores aren't going to be able to keep food. So once the once the initial you know grand slam rush is done, it's over. Yeah. I mean, that's all she wrote. I mean, people don't realize they think, well, it's got to be a dirty bomb, a nuclear bomb. No, it does not. And yeah. and and how many gotaways do we have at that that have come through that border that were not processed? We don't know who they are. It's got to be a couple million. Yeah, I think compare, it's far more than that. that to 11. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's far more than uh, a couple million. I think you're looking at 10 20 million of the unknowns coming through. And and it's just the unknown gotaways is what I'm really concerned about. You know, they count these gotaways, the footprints, the people that they didn't catch. It's the unknown gotaways that to me is the is the biggest concern. So uh the border's clearly a problem. Everybody knows it's a problem. The, the Kamala Harris is trying to turn that one around now it's not it's not going to work with the american people they're fed up and so uh so president trump just needs to move forward doing what he's doing talking about the things he's talking about and uh and and, and just keep the keep the pedal to the metal amen amen i want to give a quick shout out to our friends mark and patty mccluskey uh they just had their anniversary of blm and antifa invading their property i was happy enough to see them on their wedding anniversary thank god when I was in Milwaukee and it was nice to see my friends. Look, I felt so bad for them. They tried to come after their guns, their legal, their law licenses, take their money, everything. Thank God Gardner disappeared. She's out of there. Yeah. Look, next time we get together, Grant, I want to dive into the Russia hoax a little bit more and maybe talk about the green energy incentives, the yeah. weatherization program where we followed the money trail. I think it's a big subject that uh, we can't let go. We got to stay on it. Yeah, for sure. Happy to. God bless you, brother. Hey, thank you. We'll see you soon. And I appreciate coming on. Don't forget GrantStinchfield.com, Stinchfield1776 on all the major platforms. Yeah, and by the way, don't hesitate to call me and Chris. We would love to come on the show and talk about Schiff. Absolutely. I'd love it. We'll, we'll do it for sure, John. Love you, brother. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. The Isaac Law Firm, protecting men in family court. By now, you've all heard me talk about Mike and his great products. Well, guess what? Mike's now introduced his My Pillow, My Slippers, which are fantastic. Great on my feet, soft as can be. I love them. Mike's taken over two years to develop these slippers. He's designed them to wear indoor or outdoor all day, all night long. Made with my pillow foam and impact gel to help prevent fatigue. Made with quality leather suede. For a limited time, Mike is offering 40% off his new My Slippers. The My Slippers are so comfortable, you're going to want to get them for the whole family. Go to mypillow.com and click on the radio listener square and use promo code INDIVISIBLE. You'll also get deep discounts 
on all MyPillow products, including the Giza Dream Bed Sheets, the MyPillow Mattress Topper, and MyPillow Towel Sets. Or call 1-800-716-4639 and enter Indivisible as your promo. Tell you what, it's... uh really great to have such great guests on and we're blessed and i want to just say this you know the event up in milwaukee was fantastic this was the crowd that we had for the luncheon this is after after the vip event so this it was really hot outside but boy we ate well uh barbecue and this is the inside event uh you'll see don jr there uh rock keith uh myself behind ted there's uh jim jordan speaking there's ted speaking there's keith speaking don jr again rock speaking don again again it was just a fantastic a fantastic event brand new partnership with the brand new leadership of the nra to get the vote out get the vote out and we're doing it. We're going to be in all the battleground states. Thank you for staying with the show that puts God, family, country first. As you know, we will always tell you the truth. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless America. We're going to see you next week. As always, we're really excited. we got some great shows coming up. You're going to enjoy it, folks. Have a great week.